that you're just like, where has this been my whole life? What's up my fellow headbangers? I'm Courtney, AKA The Versatile Virgo. And for those of you that don't know me, I run a metal lifestyle website, theversatilevirgo.com, where I focus on the best things in life, music, food, and sometimes fashion. I'm also entirely independent by the way, so this video isn't sponsored by anyone except for me and my little Etsy shop where I sell t-shirts, tank tops, and handmade tote bags that are made from official merch. So if that's something that interests you, I've linked both of those in the description below so you can check them out. The Warning have just released their new album, Error, and let me just tell you, this band is here to show you just how hard we women can rock. Yes, that's right, folks. Women on all instruments. I got so many comments on my video where I reviewed Netflix's Metal Lords because I was critical of the scene where they couldn't name any women in metal. And I feel like this is another one of those bands that they could have pointed to in that scene, especially because The Warning has been kind of taking the heavy music community by storm in recent years. And yes, I know that they're not technically metal, but they're still pretty heavy. And spoiler alert, it's something I think you should check out. So that's why I'm here today to give you my first impression of The Warning's new album, Error. The album opens with intro 404, which is kind of a new age sounding sort of just intro that builds into the first actual song on the album, Disciple. Disciple kicks things off with what feels like a rush of adrenaline. I almost kind of get a Metallica vibe from this song, but with more melody and more groove. This catchy anthem is very high energy. It immediately grabs your attention and just kind of makes you want to pound your fist in the air. Choke is next, which starts with the instrumentals kind of stripped back before it comes punching back in again. So far, we're only two songs in, but there's so much passion and power in this music that you're just like, where has this been my whole life? Especially on this song, it kind of gives me a 90s rock vibe, something that's present throughout the album. My fellow 90s babies, you need to check out The Warning. Toke in particular though is just such a good song. Animosity follows that, which immediately embodies the energy that the title suggests. Again, it's a powerful track, especially vocally. Then there's Money, which is super catchy with a darker, more sultry vibe to it. It'll definitely make you wanna dance and sing along at the top of your lungs. Amour is a love song as the title suggests, but it's more moody and with more of a bitter attitude about love, I guess. This is another one that gives me that 90s alternative and grunge vibe. Evolve follows that coming in a bit heavier and a bit more aggressive than the prior track. There's even this scream in here that like I wasn't expecting, but it just makes it that much better. Evolve picks up the speed too, especially in comparison to the last track we just heard. I love that the warning can experiment with heavier elements and those that are more peeled back. It's something that bands like Hailstorm and Motionless in White are both very good at. The title track, Error, is up next and it keeps that vibe going. It has an attitude to it and it's just one of those songs that you you can feel in your chest. Then there's Z, which keeps that dark, catchy vibe. It also gives me a 90s to 2000s Metallica vibe, followed by 23, which keeps the heaviness, but has more of that somber, lonely feel to it, versus the more aggressive side of the warning that we've heard in the prior tracks. Kool-Aid Kids, again, picks up that aggression just a bit. It's super catchy and definitely an anthem, again, especially for us 90s kids. Revenant then comes in with a sort of romantic, acoustic feel, but then it starts to wane into a lonely, almost haunting ballad. It's totally different from every other track on the album. Martirio technically closes the album. It's the only track completely in Spanish, which made for a really cool finale. And it's another powerhouse track that's almost like the encore moment at a live show if you know what I mean. So I said that song technically closes the album, but it actually ends with a bonus track called Breathe. 
And much like Revenant, it's stripped back and it almost sounds like it's coming through an old speaker box, at least the vocals do. So it literally feels like just an additional bonus to kind of help close the curtain. I thought it was a cool way to fully end things. Honestly, the album as a whole was much heavier than I expected it to be, and I think that's really awesome. I see why Metallica chose The Warning to be on their Blacklist album. I mean, I saw it then, but I really see it now, especially after this release. If you like Panic at the Disco, Hailstorm, and The Pretty Reckless, you'll definitely want to check out The Warning and their new album, Error. Drop me a comment below with what you think of The Warning's new album, Error. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel because I have even more heavy music related videos on the way. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and stay heavy.